Welcome to the Ecumenical Christian Center, the ECC. Hi, I'm Shannon, and I also work here at ECC. I chose to work here because I love what it stands for. Peace, harmony, no matter your religion, caste, or creed. I'm from the US, from Harvard University, and I do interreligious dialogues and interfaith events here. ECC rests on 30 acres of land and is a green campus. As you can see, it is a safe, secure, and a friendly place to be. ECC was founded in 1963 by the late Reverend M.A. Thomas from the Marthama Church. He was a visionary and called for the unity of humankind. He said, as long as the center exists, its prime message is that humankind is one, irrespective of caste, creed, color, or sex. And that vision remains true to this day. That's dozens of international and domestic conferences, workshops, and events, all for promoting unity and interreligious harmony. This is the ECC emblem. It symbolizes people, all different kinds of people, holding up the world. And isn't that a beautiful emblem and symbol to live by? Reverend M. A. Thomas came into this world as a gift of God. M. A. Thomas Hudson lived in the world to establish ecumenical Christian center in Whitefield, Bangalore. And that is his gift to the world and to the generations. Reverend M.A. Thomas got ordained as a priest of the Mahatma Church. But then he grew up in ministering to the whole world. Because of his discernment of the will of God, he decided that the horizon of his ministry should be wide enough to serve humanity as a whole. It is his dream that made the Ecumenical Christian Center Whitefield a reality. What he visualized, he concretized in establishing this center. And this center has become known to the wider world. And as a result, people from all continents of the world, far and wide, come over to the Ecumenical Center to catch the vision of M. A. Thomas Achan and also to reflect on it. And therefore, the Ecumenical Christian Center, Bangalore, even now exists as a center that radiates the vision of the great person, Reverend M. A. Thomas. The ECC celebrated its Golden Jubilee in 2013, where the Vice President of India, Mohammed Havan Anzari, was the chief guest, along with many other dignified. Mr. Rowan Williams, the Archbishop of Canterbury, visited the ECC in 2010. Sri Jai Prakash Narayan visited in 1972, and the Patriarch of the Antioch visited in 1982 as well. This is the Dialogue House, where I live, and many people can too. And the ECC has about 30 buildings on its campus. It has five hostels that can fit about 20 people each with single and double room accommodations and can together hold around 150 people. We also have accommodations for families and staff. We also have a seminar hall, a conference room, a chapel, and a library. There's a lot of amazing books here, some on religion, politics, and books published by even members of ECC. It's a beautiful green and eco-friendly campus here at ECC. And it's a wonderful place to stay and to live. Here is the ECC admin and office, where you can find the offices of our staff, including our director. This is the ECC reception, where you always find a warm welcome and a warm cup of tea. Here you can book all of your events and accommodations. And our staff here, like Jacintha, the receptionist, are warm, welcoming, and have worked here for over 20 years. 
The office of our director, Father Matthew, is here. And we also have the offices of our deputy director, Minlu. This is Minlu. So Minlu, what's it like working here at ECC? It gives me immense pleasure and satisfaction to be here working at this center, working for the unity of And this is our financial officer, Sobin, who has worked here dutifully at ECC for about three years. This is the refectory where we have three meals a day and also tea. And a lot of the food here is grown right at ECC. And it's lunchtime, so let's go in. and crannies where you can read, find beautiful flowers, and just appreciate the beautiful nature here at ECC. Because we're in Bangalore, it's such a beautiful, temperate, and cool climate, and it's a great place to rest, relax, and rejuvenate. Not only do we have beautiful flowers, trees, and butterflies, but we also have many birds that are throughout the campus. We've even been recognized as a bird sanctuary campus by Birds Club International. Here are some of the birds that we found here at ECC. It's quite a treat. Here at the ECC, it's a beautiful place to not only relax and be calm and feel centered, but find a little bit of adventure. Thanks so much for coming by our Ecumenical Christian Center, our ECC. We have a lot of fun here and we hope to get to see you soon. Thanks, come soon. This is our tree house. Our workers built it and it's beautiful, safe, and a lot of fun. I love our tree house. You can look out and see this beautiful lake over white fields. You see ducks, and sometimes I even see egrets. No matter where you're from, the ECC will feel like home. This is a beautiful place where there's plenty of wonderful nature walks that you can do. And most importantly, the people here are just as beautiful as the scenery around us. Like this tree, the ECC is full of color and light. And one of my favorite parts of ECC are all the children here that bring so much color and beauty into this space. ECC begins its day early. You can't miss the sweet sound of so many birds in the campus. The many who live here, these birds are like a natural alarm. We have many cows at ECC that give us nourishment. After they are milked, they are given a nice bath. The rabbits, sheep, turkeys, hens, emu, ducks, and pigeons are very excited around all these new days. Here at ECC, our staff are friendly and always provide us with much good food and nourishment. We have a strong, talented, and dedicated team striving hard every day to give ECC clean and friendly. The accommodation team, garden team, and maintenance staff are always here keeping us safe and clean and happy. Srini Vas continues to lead his team even to this day. Chendu 
ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಇ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದದಿಂದ ಸೆಂಟ್ರ್ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ನಡೀತಾ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಕೆಲವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅವ್ರು ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಎಮ್ ಎಂ ಸಚ್ಚನ್ನು ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಆಗಲೇ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಕೆಲವರು ಇನ್ನು ಕೆಲವರು ಬಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಗೋದು ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಅದು ಈಗ ಹೊಸ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಬಂದರೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಆದರೂ ನಾವು ಎಮ್ ಎ ತಾಮಸ್ ಅಚ್ಚೇನು ಏನು ನಮಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ನ ನಾವು ಏನೇನು ಕೆಲಸಗಳು ಮಾಡೋದು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಸೆಂಟ್ರ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಒಂದು ಆಸೆ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಮನಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಾವು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಸೊ ಅದೊಂದು ಅದಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಭಾಳ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೇಲೆ ಇದೆ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೇಲೆ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಅವ್ರ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದದಿಂದ ನಾವು ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೇಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಹಾಗೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ನಡೀತಾ ಇದೆ ಅವ್ರದ್ದೇ ನಾವು ಇದು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಮೇನ್ ಅವ್ರು ಅಂದರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಗುರು ಕೆ ಸಿ ಎಂ ರಾಜಚಂದ್ರ ವಾಸವೇಂದ್ರ ಅವರು ಎಮ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಮುಖ ಸಚಿನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಈ ವರ್ಷ ಫಾದರ್ಲಿ ಪಿಓ ಹೋಮ್ ಲವ್ ಮೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೀ ಆಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ತರ್ ಕೊಚ್ಚಮ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ನೆವರ್ ಫೆಲ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೈ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲವ್ ದೇ ಬಾಟ್ ಮೀ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಲೈಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಗೈಡ್ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ I am remembering that words and I am maintaining my life. I am very happy to work in the ECC also. This is my great... Uh, um, God has blessed me to stay here. That is what I am maintaining my life in ECC. These are the past directors of ECC. Rev. Dr. M.A. Thomas, founder and director. Rev. Dr. Casey Abraham, director from 1980 to 1986. This is Susie Nelitanam, director from 1986 to 1990. Dr. Mitra Augustin, director 1990 to 1997. Reverend Dr. MJ Joseph, director from 1997 to 2006. Reverend Dr. Mani Chako, director from 2006 to 2011. Very Reverend Dr. Cherian Thomas, director from 2011 to 2016. Current director is Dr. Father Matthew Chandrakanel. M. A. Thomas Sachin, as I have read through his books and especially leap into the unknown, he speaks about somebody who wanted to connect with the whole cosmos. As he has shown, this center is a place where irrespective of the caste, creed, geography and sex, a place where people can come and celebrate together the human progress unity peace and harmony so when he established uh, this uh, center uh, the first building was the administrative block where he did not even write his name and he simply wrote there as a servant of this community has found a uh, place the foundation stone so that gives the whole vitality and vision uh, of ma thomas sachin so i see that his kenosis is the foundation and the underpinning ethos of this center which uh, enables people to come here and to contribute to bringing together peace and harmony in this uh, universe